Hi, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com. Today we've got a quick guide showing you how to fix the Windows could not automatically detect this network's proxy settings error. Now typically you'll see a yellow exclamation point icon over the network icon in your taskbar, and when you run the troubleshooter that it prompts you to, you'll see this error when it's done. Now it's a bit frustrating, especially if you don't know what a proxy server is, so we're going to take you through 10 quick steps to fix the issue. The first step is simply to reboot your computer and your router. As you probably know, if you have a computer problem, rebooting is a is a easy first step because it can clear up a lot of problems without a lot of advanced troubleshooting. Uh, this error is usually related to something on your specific computer and not your whole network, so it's unlikely that rebooting your router will fix uh, the problem right away, but it's still worth a try. And from there, we'll move on to the more detailed troubleshooting steps. So next up, what you should do is review your proxy settings in Windows. To do that, you're going to need to go into your network settings. So you open up the settings app, and then head into the network and internet section. On the left, make sure you've clicked on the proxy tab, and you'll see some proxy settings here. Now, if you don't know what a proxy uh, server is, essentially it's a server that acts as a middleman between you and the internet. So normally your computer connects directly to the internet to grab information. But with a proxy server, your computer connects to the proxy and then the proxy connects to the internet for you. It's unlikely that you'll you use one of these at home unless you've specifically set it up for privacy purposes. They're much more common in a business or school environment where they use proxy servers to monitor um, behavior and block uh, connections to explicit websites and things like that. So if you're at home and you, you've never used a proxy server, make sure that use a proxy server, the switch here is turned off. You can leave the automatically detect settings switch turned on. After you do that, try to connect to the internet again as you normally would. If it still doesn't work, try turning off this automatically detect settings switch and give it another try. Now if you are on a network like a school or a business and you, you do use a proxy and you can't get it to connect, check with your network administrator to find the settings that you should type in the proxy information down here because you may have mistyped it or it may have changed since you last uh, got online. Number three is to use the Network Adapter Troubleshooter. Uh, you might be wondering why you would use this if you've already ran a troubleshooter and it gave you this error in the first place, but Windows actually has more than one troubleshooter that can help with this issue. So go back to the Settings homepage, open the Update and Security section, and on the left click Troubleshoot. You'll see a bunch of different connections. You probably ran the Internet Connections Troubleshooter earlier, so you want to scroll down and run the Network Adapter Troubleshooter. Now, as most Windows users probably know, this isn't always going to fix your problem, but it is worth a try because it can sometimes patch things up automatically. Next, you want to make sure that you have set your computer to automatically obtain an IP address and a DNS server. So we're back in settings for that. Go to Network and Internet again, and then go ahead and click on Change Adapter Options here. Once you do that, you'll get a panel that shows you all of your network connections, so you want to double-click on the connection that you're currently using. From there, click on Properties, and in the list that pops up, double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Make sure you have both Obtain an IP address automatically and Obtain DNS server address automatically checked. If you've set up a specific address on your network, this may not be a problem, uh, but if you've never done that, then you need to have these checked to, to automatic for the best results. Click OK, make sure that goes through, and it doesn't hurt to open up Internet Protocol version 6, and it's the same thing here, just make sure they're both set to automatic, because if this is misconfigured, then you're going to have trouble getting online. Once you're done with that, step five is to look at your uh, network drivers and see if you might need to update them or roll them back. So for that, we'll need a device manager. Go ahead and right click on the start button, then click on device manager to open that window up. And from here, you're going to want to click on the network adapters header to expand that and show all your adapters. You won't, probably won't have as many as I do. Double click on the one that you use. It'll match your adapter name, whether it's Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and then click on the driver tab. You'll see several options here. Update driver obviously lets you get a new copy of the driver. You can search automatically, but Windows usually won't find the right driver if you do this. You'll need to go to your computer manufacturer's website and check for the newest driver so you can install it auto, uh, manually here. Uh, if, if there's no driver update, maybe you recently installed a driver that was glitchy and you need to roll it back. You can click on the roll back driver button here to go back to the previous version. It is possible that your computer manufacturer issued a bad update and you're just simply running into problems from that. So you should try both of those options if you can. 
Once you've tried that, uh, you want to run a couple of command prompt commands to reset some network settings. So again, if you right click on the start menu, uh, start button, you can run a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell uh, shell as admin. Once you've confirmed that, uh, go ahead and run these five commands here. They're also in the link to make use of article in the description if you uh, want to copy and paste them. Uh, basically, these five settings all reset um, the Windows network protocol, which these two do. Uh, these two release your current IP from your router and get a new one, and then this one uh, resets your DNS settings. So this basically just kind of flushes out everything and resets it uh, so you can connect a new. So it hopefully will patch up your issues. Number seven, uh, next what you want to do is you should review any firewall, uh, VPN, or security software that you have on your computer. Uh, if you've recently installed a new app that might be blocking network connections for security, um, maybe your VPN is improperly configured and you're having an issue, uh, make sure you've turned all that off or disabled it one by one and then try to connect to your network. Um, if you turn your VPN off and suddenly your problem goes away, it's probably related to that or maybe you have a piece of your security software is blocking a legitimate connection. Um, make sure all that stuff is turned off and not interfering with your connection to cause this issue. Uh, number eight is a quick scan for malware. Um, some malware has been known to mess with your proxy settings on your computer uh, to keep you from getting online. It resets it every time you reboot your computer. So uh, if you've gotten this far and you still uh, haven't had an issue, or haven't been able to clear up your issue, rather, uh, we recommend installing the free version of Malwarebytes, running a quick scan, and then you'll be able to see if you have anything on your system that might be uh, screwing around with everything there. Uh, getting into the last couple steps here, number nine is to use a Windows Restore Point. Uh, so this lets you basically go back in time uh, on your computer and uh, to a previous... Uh, so number nine is to use a restore point. Uh, this basically lets you go back in time to an earlier point uh, before you installed an update or did something else. Um, it lets you revert all your programs back and kind of reset Windows to the way that it was. So to do this, you're going to want to open the control panel so you can search for it on the start menu. Once there, if you're, on, if you're in the category section, go ahead and switch to small or large icons so you can see everything. And then click on the system entry. Once you're here, click on System Protection in the left, and you'll be in the System Protection dialog box. Here you can click on System Restore, click Next in this information, and then you'll see all the System Restore points that you have available. Now, if you haven't had System Restore turned on up until this point, or you haven't uh, have made a restore point in the recent past, this may not work for you. But if you have, you'll see restore points here, and when they were created, uh, you can click Next to continue walking through them and then you can confirm here. Now, as Windows mentions, this won't affect any of your personal data, so you won't lose any uh, files or pictures, anything like that, but it will remove any software that you've installed since making that restore point. So you can click scan for affected programs, and it will tell you what will be affected if you do this. But this can be an easy way to return back to when your computer was working normally without having to go through all the hassle. And finally, if nothing else in this guide worked for you, we recommend resetting your internet settings. So this is kind of like a, a somewhat nuclear option to wipe out all of your uh, connection preferences, but at this point it's probably worth it. So one more trip to settings, go to network and internet, and at the bottom click network reset. As Windows says, this is going to get rid of all your network adapters and reinstall them, so this basically sets you back to how your computer was network-wise. It won't, it won't remove your files or anything like that. Um, but you'll have to reconnect to any networks you have, so make sure you have the passwords for them. Um, if you've gotten to this point and you still can't fix your issue, it's definitely worth it because uh, there's probably some kind of deep-rooted, misconfigured setting in there that's causing your issue. So that network reset will uh, go ahead and reset everything for you, and then it'll reboot your computer, and hopefully you'll be all set. So those are our 10 ways to fix the Windows could not automatically detect this network's proxy settings error. Hopefully one of them worked for you. Um, definitely try the earlier ones before you move to the later steps because it is probably just a, a small misconfiguration in those proxy settings for you. But um, hopefully this worked. Uh, feel free to jump over to make use of in the description to read the full article in text form. And if you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe because we post uh, videos like this pretty often with troubleshooting tips and even some giveaways of the latest tech. So thank you for watching. Take care and we will see you soon.